What is going on gamers, Avertrix here and today we are going to be talking about the best free to play warring gear that you can get in Lords Mobile. And when I say free to play, I don't mean with the materials that you get for monster hunting. I'm going to leave that to another video because there is a lot of free to play gear that you can get from monster hunting. But I'm going to leave that to what I would call a freemium warring uh, gear. But this one is only from the materials that you get from either gathering resources or for instance with guild quests, admin quests or from these boxes right here. Let me show you. Let me go to chest from the material chest. Okay. Now let's go ahead and jump into it and we'll go over the accessories first. Now hands down the Lost Island Relic is the best accessory that you can get for warring for a free to play. Infantry attack 6% ranged attack 6% and army max HP 2.5%. Now even if your army is mainly cavalry which this doesn't really have a boost for other than the army max HP, it is really good for defending as well as attacking with the other troops because it is such a nice boost and really because there's no other accessory like it that even comes close to being as good. So if you have cavalry units for the most part what I would suggest is just making sure that you're uh, that your jewels that you put on this would be cavalry based that way it's more balanced out and then you have a nice boost for infantry ranged and cavalry in each single ring now remember you can equip up to three so keep that in mind but this is by far the best free to play accessory that you can use in the game so start working on it if you have not okay so as far as the legs the durable boots is the one that I found to be the best one now it has cavalry attack which is 4.5% ranged attack which is also 4.5% and then army defense which is 10% now anytime that you can get army anything is really good now army defense is the lowest one of them because I would rate army attack and then army HP as the most important ones but having army defense is definitely never a negative because it impacts your whole army now ignore the other stats because that's just a jewel that I have in there um, but now this is a leg that has really nice boost for two main types of uh, you know which is cavalry and range but it also comes with that army buff which is also very nice to have so if you're going to go for uh, some sort of free to play legs this would be the ones that I would recommend for you now as far as the armor there's really not many free to play choices that are actually really good the best one that I could find was really this regal plate mail which has siege engine attack which let's be honest that's really not going to do much for you it has army capacity which it, it in the end army capacity what that would help you do is actually take more resource when you're raiding from whoever you're raiding and also it has army max HP which is 5% now remember anytime that you get army max anything is going to be good so with HP that's 5% that you would get that a lot of the other armors uh, only offer if you either pay for materials or you get lucky with monster hunt etc so a complete free to play um, armor would be the regal plate mail that's the one that I would recommend okay so now we've gotten to the helmet the helmet that I believe would be the best option would be berserker tusk helm it has infantry attack 5% trap attack 10% which is to a lesser extent because a lot of times your wall isn't even repair but it is there even even if you don't use it much and then again another army defense 10.5% so you see how the army defense is now starting to stack and that's what you want you have a nice boost on infantry attack and then more army defense it is re a really really good helmet for free to play and even for those that aren't free to play I see plenty of people that aren't free to play and still use this helmet just because it's a really nice helmet so definitely check this helmet out if you have uh, if you haven't started on this helmet go ahead and start it because it's definitely going to be worth your while and now we get to the main hand which is the fiery tomahawk that's the one that I would recommend but the beauty about the main hand is that unlike the other slots there is actually a lot of choice here now the one that I will recommend of course is the fiery tomahawk which is cavalry attack 10% infantry attack 6.5% and then ranged attack 3.5% this is the one that's the most balanced and it adds probably the best boost all around but 
Let's go ahead and show you the other options that you have because you might want to choose another option depending on what kind of troops you're focusing on. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. Okay, so here they are. Fiery Tomahawk, we went over that. That's mainly cavalry and infantry uh, heavy. The Falcon Gale, on the other hand, is cavalry and ranged. Although, keep this in mind, even though the ranged is 1.5% higher in case you are more focused on ranged, Keep in mind that you are going to be losing a lot of infantry attack if you go for the Falcon Gale over the Fiery Tomahawk. And the same can be said for the Venom Stinger. That one is more focused on infantry instead of cavalry and it has a ranged attack of 5%. But you are going to be losing the other 6.5% that the Fiery Tomahawk offers. So if you take a look at it, you have a really good option for cavalry which is Falcon Gale and Fiery Tomahawk. And you have a really good option for infantry attack, which is the Venom Stinger. But you don't really have a great option for ranged. Because only two offer ranged, and that's only... Well, actually, all of them offer the range, but one is only 3.5%, and then the, only t the other two is 5%. So there isn't a 10% ranged attack weapon. So in those kind of cases, since you're not going to be looking at uh, a really big ranged attack difference, that's why I would recommend the Fiery Tomahawk, because overall, it offers you the best boost for your troops, while the other ones only offer you trap attack. And let's be honest, trap attack, again, isn't really going to help you too much. So if I were to pick one, I would go with Fiery Tomahawk, but it is going to be up to you guys to decide. But keep this also in mind. This one doesn't have many ranged options as far as the main hand. But the ones that we're going to be looking at next, which is the off hand, definitely does. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Now, the one that I would recommend for off hand is the Vice Grips. Now, the Vice Grips has a really nice army max HP of 13%, which I absolutely love. But it also has research speed of 5%. Now, I know what you're thinking. Research speed isn't really used for warring. But here's my thinking. Free to play, you're going to want to get the Vice Grips maxed out anyways because of the research speed. So since because you want to do that, you might as well focus on the Vice Grips first, which you'll need for research speed and you can use for warring before you focus on anything else. Now, like I said, for offhand, there is going to be quite a few options. So let's go ahead and jump into those options and you can decide for yourself. Alright, so for the offhand, like I said, we talked about the Vice Grips and why I would recommend that one over others. But take a look at the Crusader's Shield. Infantry attack 4.5%, ranged attack 6.5%. Now, of course, it's got Siege Engine attack 10%, but let's be honest, you're not going to really do much with that. Uh, but that's, that's a very good one to get. Now, another option for you would actually be the Lunar Scimitar. It's got a ranged attack of 9% and army max HP of almost 12%, which it makes the Lunar Scimitar much better than the Vice Grips. If you already have the Vice Grips maxed out and you want another option, Lunar Scimitar will outperform the Vice Grips once you don't have to worry about the research speed. But it doesn't stop there. There is a ton of other options. Noah's Cube has cavalry attack 5%, ranged attack 6%. And even the, uh, the Umbral Whisper, for if you're missing some of the other components of the other one, Army Max HP of 10%. Those are the ones that I would recommend. Again, go for the Vice Grips first. That way you can knock out two things at once, Research Speed and also Army Max HP, which is used for warring. And then I would then recommend the Lunar Scimitar. It is very, very strong. The ranged attack is nice, and then the army max HP is a nice boost overall to your army. So now, once you have all this gear all, all together, it should look something along the lines of this. Keep in mind that some of this might change depending on your decisions and some of the things that we talked about earlier. And also keep in mind that I did not include any of the items that you get uh, or any of the gear that you get from monster hunting I'm going to be covering that in another video like I stated in the beginning so hopefully this helps you and hopefully it helps you make a decision on your warring gear uh, but thank you guys for watching and until later bye